Alright, so this is a repair video. This is for the Lenovo X1 Carbon. This is the fourth generation. We'll be repairing the fan today. Um, it was making some awful noises and it's really a non-serviceable part. So what we're going to do is make sure that your laptop is um, completely shut down and we're going to start taking off the back casing. Uh, it just requires a tiny Phillips uh, head screwdriver. These screws don't completely come out, so you don't have to worry about losing them. They do stick with the case. Just make sure that you get them far enough out that you can actually remove the case easily and not break it or parts of it off. So in order to remove the back casing, uh, you'll probably have to use something like uh, one of those professional tools. You can use like a credit card or bonus points if it's an IEEE old membership card. I've done this a few times, so hopefully it's a little bit uh, looser than usual. Um, most of the connections are along the, the bottom here. Put that over here for now. So this is the laptop. Just slide it this way to make it easier to work on. Um, so here's the fan that needs replacing, it's making all the noise. The first thing that we want to do though is disconnect the battery. So let's uh, go ahead and void that warranty real quick. Now if you looked at uh, the previous generation Lenovo ThinkPad videos for how to disconnect the battery, it's way easier. Um, this is a very small part, uh, so you're going to have to be very delicate. The connection is right here. All you really have to do is kind of lift uh, up on like the edge over here. However, it is a little bit challenging, so just be careful, be delicate, um, and you do have to pull a little bit this way since there is kind of like a hook in there, so just be mindful of that. So now that that's been disconnected, um, that's step one right there. So this fan itself is connected to the heat sink and it also has a connection here. We're going to remove this connection first. Uh, we'll kind of get this wire out of the way. So there's a little kind of black thing with a white casing around it. So we'll lift this kind of black lip up and that will release this ribbon cable and kind of tug it out a little bit. Um, so that's all you have to do there. And in order for us to actually release the fan, we need to unscrew these four screws, go onto the heat sink. So you also want to make sure that you have some thermal paste handy as well as some isopropyl alcohol to clean off um, any old residue. A second. So again, these screws don't come off, so that's kind of nice. Um, so here's the old fan. Uh, it's not really easily serviceable unless you get out like a soldering iron. You can take off the sticker, and really, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty much like plastic melted in there. So you're you're not gonna be able to easily service that part, unfortunately. So we're gonna take a cloth that we don't care about. Get some isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol on it, if I could talk. Um, just kind of clean this guy off. Uh, you just want to be very careful because thermal paste is conductive, so it has the potential to short out parts if you accidentally get it over stuff. Just kind of clean it up there. It's nice that they have kind of isolated things a little bit, uh, so you don't have to worry as much about putting on too much thermal paste. However, um, don't get too crazy with it. So I'm using Arctic uh, MX4 thermal compound. You can use literally whatever you want. Um, just make kind of a small bead, kind of like a raindrop size. Um, and really just do a dot in the middle because when you apply the heat sink, it will spread it kind of for you. So you don't have to worry about um, spreading it across there or anything. It will spread it for you with the pressure. So here is the new fan um, with this kind of setup going on. What we're going to do first is we're going to kind of press on that heat sink and screw those in. 
So really make sure that you've lined up before you press it down because you do not want to like shift around too much. And so we're going to press down and start re-screwing these in. You usually want to get at least two of them on before you release your finger so it doesn't slide everywhere. Make sure that those are on good because they're applying that nice thermal paste. So your fan is here and you need to just reconnect it. So take that ribbon, that new ribbon, kind of slide it in and make sure that it gets past. There's kind of like two white divots. It needs to get past there in order to really uh, get in. If it feels loose at all, you haven't pushed it in far enough. So close this again and you should be kind of good to go there. So the next thing that we want to do is obviously reconnect the battery and again you want to kind of like slide it down and into that area and then once it's into that area you just press down and it should snap into place. It does require a little bit of pressure, uh, don't be too nervous about it, but again this is a very delicate laptop. Uh, we're just going to replace this right here and this is when we pray that our laptop turns on again. So let's uh, re-put the case on. Okay, all right, so your laptop should be good to go. Um, you can try turning on, but there you have it. That's the repair video for a Lenovo with a nice new fan. Hear that nice word? That's uh, some quality stuff right there. Good luck.